Welcome back to my channel today. I'm doing what blessings coming to sign of Gemini, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Gemini. If you'd like a personal reading, that's gonna be the first link in the description down below. And while we're talking about the description there, you'll find a bunch of other things. You will find my website, you will find my Etsy shop, where you'll find my Oracle cards, uh, a bunch of other things on there, my short store, different social media platforms I'm on, even Twitch and Patreon. We're gonna be on Twitch every Sunday, so make sure you follow. That's really gonna help grow things. And Patreon for extra content. All of that's in the description down below. And if you like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate your donations here. So on the bottom of the deck, overall here, what's coming towards you, what's happening, we have the Ace of Cups, Gemini, your Ace of Cups is here, something that fulfills you emotionally here, okay, I also feel like new beginnings, new starts, Ace of Cups, we have the Empress, we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Two of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. This is a very interesting thing that's happening here, Gemini. Okay. So. What? <laughs> Your Ace of Cups, it comes in here. However, it comes in on a very particular circumstance. You had someone here trying to reach out to you. Okay, for whatever reason, but this person, even though they, they offered you something here, they were planning on deceiving you in some way or taking something from you, alright? I feel like a big thing here, they, they try to communicate with you, but you said no, okay? You left them feeling out. You are now getting blessings for that, you understand? The Empress. Blessings rewards for actions of the past and also investments are going to be paying off for you. Those past investments are going to be paying off for you here. I feel like you're going to have a new start with someone else here. Ace of Cups, Empress, Eight of Wands. I'm going to show you. On the bottom of this deck, we have the Tower. The Tower is Scorpio. It can be a Scorpio that you're having a new start with here. Uh, I was about to say Scorpio. I was about to call you Scorpio. Maybe some of you have Scorpio placements as well. But, getting back to you. We have the Hangman. Strength. Which is Leo. Nine of Wands. Nine of Swords. Temperance, which is Sagittarius. King of Cups, which is Water. Yeah, I heavily feel like this is a Scorpio coming towards you that you're going to have a new, new start with. Alright. Maybe you have Sagittarius and Scorpio placements along with Leo. But yeah, I feel like it unexpectedly a new start with this person. You've been on their mind a lot here. They've been kind of like stuck on you. They've been thinking of you here. Nine of Swords, the Hangman. And I see I see them reaching out to you unexpectedly. Like if they haven't already, I'd be surprised. I think either already or soon because of how it, it's so like the tower is like bam. Okay, it's something soon. It's something sudden. It's something unexpected. Alright, so we have financial health. Finances are going to be improving for you. Like I said, those investments here. Number 50, Angel of Strength. Alright, we had the Strength card earlier. You see, Angel of Strength is with you. Number 25, the Temple, Home. I no longer search outside myself for home. And number 12, the Huntress, Quest. The Pleiades like my quest to be wild and free. Look at this. You see, you don't really need anyone here. You're already the empress, okay? You have that feeling of home, but I guess someone would be nice. Um, you, you're like on a quest here, spiritual quest, okay? So that is all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below for personal reading. And if you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.